Welcome back to the Beer Sherpa. I am Danimal and welcome to Sunday. Today, we are gonna be talking none other than Hamilton Porter. So let's check this out. So unless you've been living under a rock like Ryan, who's mopping right now, um, Hamilton Porter is a beer that we've done several times here at the brewery. Um, we've done it um, over the last several years, but not last year, I don't think. Um, this beer is quite popular, especially in the fall and in the winter, but we've also tapped it during the summer. But before we get into uh, Hamilton Porter itself and what it brings to the table, we kind of need to refresh our memories regarding what a porter and what a stout actually is. So porters and stouts are very, very similar for the most part, um, but there are some differences. First, let's start with similarities. Both of these beers are ales, which means they are top fermenting beers with the yeast, which tends to bring out um, higher ABVs and um, some subtle fruitiness that's added in. Um, unlike when we talk about um, lagers, lagers are gonna be bottom fermented in order to bring out some of the multi aspects of it. Now, <clears throat> Porters tend to be a little bit lighter in color. I don't know whether you can see it from here, but as I shine through a little bit of light, um, you're going to see not, not just dark browns, but maybe even some ambers, and it's definitely noticeable, especially if you hold it up to the light, whereas a stout is going to be dark through and through. Next, when it comes to flavors. The flavors of a porter are pretty well balanced. If you're getting just a straight porter, <clears throat> it's gonna be subtly sweet, it's gonna be subtly bitter, it's gonna be light on the palate, and you're also gonna get notes of chocolate and coffee. In turn, you take a stout, for instance. Stouts tend to be a little bit richer, a little bit thicker on the palate, but they're still going to have, um, you know, chocolate and coffee, licorice, and even a little bit of molasses, but you're also gonna get a, a little bit of graininess on the nose. So when it comes to Hamilton Porter, we decided to take a traditional porter and make it a little bit different. So we here in house several years ago were big fans of the movie The Sandlot and big fans of the character of Hamilton Porter. So we decided to take that iconic scene and kind of be inspired and create a beer based off of it. So obviously this is going to be a campfire s'mores porter. Um, we are going to be adding in chocolate, uh, cocoa nibs, in fact, we're going to be adding in graham cracker. Um, we toasted marshmallow fluff and we threw in um, some smoked salt. So what this is going to do with this particular porter, it's going to give off a beautiful like layering effect as we drink this beer. So the first thing that we notice when we, you know, go in for the aroma of the beer, it's kind of a blend of chocolate and marshmallow. You get that aroma of the sweetness of the beer, but it's not overwhelming to your your nose um, so when we take our first sip here you get the chocolate first you get the sweetness and the toastiness of the marshmallow you get a pinch of salt and then you get the graham cracker right on the back end um, this is such a great beer to kind of start that blend of you know fall into winter season because you know, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you guys know that I love my, my lagers right now, my porters, my stouts, and uh, this is kind of one of my favorite seasons because these kind of beers just keep me nice and warm and toasty. So Hamilton Porter is available here at Off Square Brewing. We have it on tap now, and we also have four packs of this beautiful beer to go, so please make sure that you stop in, um, pick yourself up a glass, pick yourself up a four pack, Enjoy the uh, beautiful cold weather that is going to be coming in here shortly. And uh, until next time, prost.